Introducing a new single-use bone marrow biopsy needle with a core retention device. This is a demonstration of the actual operative procedure. Hold the needle assembly in your right hand and advance it forward through the skin and soft tissue towards the posterior ilium. Once the cortex over the posterior ilium is penetrated, hold the needle assembly in place with the left hand and remove the white protective cap with the right hand. Then, unlock the trocar from the T-bar handle by twisting it anti-clockwise and remove it from the lumen of the needle with a straight pull. Once the trocar is removed, replace the plastic protector cap on the top of the T-bar handle and advance the needle forward with a slow, steady, and controlled clockwise and counterclockwise rotary motion until an adequate depth is reached, about 20 to 25 millimeters. Then, rotate the needle completely several times along its long axis with clockwise or counterclockwise rotary motion to sever all the trabicular connections at the base of the marrow core. Withdraw the needle with a straight pull and gentle alternating rotary motion. No rocking, sculling, or gyratory motion is needed. Once the needle is withdrawn from the patient's body, remove the white cap. Then, attach the insertion aid to the distal cutting end of the needle and remove the biopsy specimen contained within the lumen of the needle. To do this, introduce the pusher through the opposite end of the insertion aid. Gently push it forward to remove the biopsy specimen through the opposite end of the needle. Note the actual length and breadth of the specimen obtained by this needle. One of the most important features of this needle is the carefully tooled distal cutting end of the needle with this internal core retention device. As a result, when the biopsies enter into the hollow needle, it cannot slip out. As the biopsy enters into the hollow needle, it expands to some extent in the free space within the lumen of the needle. This internal step acts as a shoulder and presents the biopsy specimen from slipping out of the needle during its withdrawal from the patient's body. Because of this, the needles can be withdrawn with a straight pull. No rocking, sculling, gyratory movement, or change in the direction of the tip of the needle is necessary. Furthermore, no additional parts or components such as these, required by other bone marrow biopsy needle devices to capture the biopsy specimens, are needed. These devices are cumbersome, and when they are pushed over the biopsy specimen to capture it, produce considerable crushing and artifactual change. In addition, it also has these outside serrations or flutes at the junction of the narrower distal portion with the proximal wider portion. These flutes act like a saw when the needle is rotated, helps cut the hard cortical bone, and facilitates its entry into the marrow cavity. These facets are also sharp and help with cutting the bony trabiculi cleanly, thus providing a clean and uncrushed biopsy specimen for histological evaluation. Here is an example of a bone marrow biopsy obtained with this new core retention bone marrow biopsy needle. As you can see, it provides a nice long core biopsy with little or no distortion of the marrow architecture.